In the grand scheme of the human experience, there really aren't many moments that feel better than when you go to a thrift store and just just get a really good find. That's what this video is about, by the way. We're gonna talk about a thrift store related story. Ta-da! Shirt, like how you'd find it in a thrift store. The reason a good thrift store find feels so good is because usually when you go out to a thrift store, what do you find? Bunch of sh nobody wanted. That is just the reality of it. It's a bunch of stuff people didn't want, of course. That's, that's how the system works. But when you find that one good thing, my god. When you find that one good thing that someone didn't want, but is actually kind of great. It feels so good, man. It feels so, so nice. That's why recently I've kind of been really enjoying watching videos of people thrifting to, to, to have those good moments happen more in front of my eyes. So this thrifting video has like a few million views. Thrifting episode three, come thrift with me for designer bags. Now I have never seen a designer bag, let alone plural ones in a thrift store, but whatever. Shoes and clothes. So are are the shoes and clothes also designer? Hmm, interesting. Interesting situation laying in, uh, in front of us. Thrift with me, my most insane haul so far. I always check the bag section first, and this time it really paid off because I found this gorgeous Gucci black bag. As now let's be real now. <laughs> if I found a Gucci handbag, it doesn't really matter that I don't really use handbags. If I were to find a Gucci handbag, my reaction wouldn't be, oh yeah, I just casually found a Gucci handbag. It would be, ah, what the fuck? Did someone just leave it here by accident? Should I like call some, uh, like a number? Should I leave this in the lost and found? I love me some thrifting. I love going to a charity shop. I've never in my life seen a, a goddamn Gucci handbag there. People will usually try and sell that stuff online if they don't want it anymore. Let's see the rest of this haul though. She said designer bags. As well as this amazing blue label Burberry little shoulder bag. I don't know the brand Burberry. Eddie Burberry. That's a joke on Eddie Burback's name. So this looks, I think this looks pretty similar to what she found. 243 pounds, that's like $300. Uh, hmm. Don't worry, guys. The haul doesn't stop there, though. We're just 13 seconds in. Shoe section and found these Giorgio Armani open toe goldish shoes. Perfect. Oh, she found these. She just casually found those Giorgio Armani shoes. I guess, I guess those are the only ones that, like, I, I, I don't know if they were there. If they were planted, which, yes. That is allegedly, assumingly, presumably what what is going on here. If they were planted, that that seems to be the main, the first ones that I've seen where an attempt was made to make it look like it was actually like found in the store. So maybe it actually was found in the store. I don't know. Shoes perfect for a night out. Then my sneaky boyfriend found these. Guys, guys, guys. Let's look at this frame real quick. Used, 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 used. And what is that? The shoe that is, uh, as we're gonna find out, the most expensive one in the bunch here, also seems to be the cleanest one. Huh. Then my sneaky boyfriend found these super rare Travis Scott mo- I bet they're rare. Jordan ones. Apparently they go for over 3k online, so slay. I can't- I can't deal with this. This is so dumb. How dumb do you think I am? Do you think that I think that a person who originally bought those Travis Scott shoes that are super rare would not be aware of the fact that they're super rare and be like, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, let's give them to Goodwill. You know, I think that, I think, I think I feel like doing something like that today. I think I feel like doing something nice. This is not the nature of humanity. This is not, this is not real life. What you're presenting here in your videos. She's gonna pull out these Adidas shoes. I've never seen, I don't know this, these type of Adidas shoes, but I'd assume they cost one billion dollars, I think. It's a, it's a rare find. Another pair I found were these baby pink Adidas sneakers. And to finish off, found this black Motel Rock snakeskin miniskirt. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Bye. I just lied to you. Bye. Goodbye, guys. <laughs> are people actually believing this? Let's let's read the comments. I've never been to a thrift store like this. She also hasn't been to a thrift store like this because that doesn't exist in real life. My thrift stores are all Walmart and Shein. Don't worry, this one is as well. What you've seen here, exactly the same as yours. Don't worry about it. So I think that something is going on here with the comments because I think that if those comments weren't monitored, 
I'd probably see more people being like, this this is very clearly a lie. I'm pretty damn sure this person's deleting comments. I don't think people understand how unreal the thrift is. Yeah, unreal is the word. She's saying so real. No, no it isn't. Unreal is the key word here. It is unreal. It is detached from what we know as real. Oh, so as it says here, yeah, those Travis Scott shoes are fake. You can kind of tell. This doesn't look like a premium $3,000 shoe. What is this is like cheap foam. Super rare Travis Scott mocha Jordan 1s. Yeah, no, that's, that's not real. By, by any, nope. <laughs> so this person posts a lot of those thrift videos. Something that's kind of interesting to notice, there's thrifting episode three, thrifting episode four, thrifting episode nine. So clearly a lot of episodes are missing here, right? Well, we'll find out why in a bit, but they've obviously been called out for what they're doing here. This video by Mark explains it quite well. In terms of your ankle boots, I can definitely see myself pairing these with a $250 price tag on Depop. Yeah, they put those shoes on Depop, these shoes that they find. She paired counterfeit Christian Dior boots that it looks like she paid $10 for with a resale price of $250. Scam, just a full on scam. And while your partner in crime might have changed his username from that to that and deleted all his designer items after getting called out the first time, Benny Boy forgot to clean up his Mercari account. He's attempting to sell the fake boots for $160. Crazy, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. So yeah, that's kind of what's going on here. Mark's video uh, went really big. And since then, the original TikToker, the thrifter, has changed her account name. So it seems like that's their tactic, right? They go to a Goodwill, plant a bunch of fake stuff. Maybe, allegedly, maybe some of it is real. I don't know the full extent of what's going on here. I'd also say that I'm quite bad at telling like what's a real piece of clothing and what's like an, an imitation of that. Besides that Travis Scott one, that was kind of, that was a pretty obvious one. But assumingly, allegedly, yes, they go to these thrift stores, they pretend that they found these designer things that are maybe fake. These videos go very viral because it's obviously super exciting to see someone find crazy stuff like that in a video, let alone five, five designer things in one video. They send you over to the Depop and you know, that's, that's it. They got you hooked. You believe the whole story. Let's watch more of their videos. Let's, let's watch more of this incredible luck that they have when they go to a thrift store. This is your sign to start thrifting in 2024. The first thing that I found was the cutest little Gucci shoulder bag. Come the f on. At a Goodwill, really? At a Goodwill, you found a f***ing Gucci bag? are so adorable and for literally $12 I mean what the f how many elements of this story are fabricated why do they need to make it so unbelievable I guess it was just my lucky day for bags because I also found this Fendi monogram shoulder bag oh uh, yeah 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 sure yeah sure <laughs> this person has to be the luckiest human being alive it seems like they're going thrifting on the daily and every day Every day they're finding out these designer bags for like 10 bucks. I bet if you held her and her boyfriend like that, like over a, a big field, they'll let you know where an oil reserve is. They can just feel it, man. They just got that in their body. As you can see, here's a Prada bucket hat that they're selling. Big Prada bucket hat sold. Yikes. While well, I didn't have a photo to compare the Dior boots, I certainly do for this hat. $250. Is this authentic? Yes. Yeah, maybe if this is what it looked like on the inside. Not this. Ouch. TikTok is such a hub for scammers. It's actually kind of crazy. If you remember a few videos, I, I talked about like the, the those people pretending to be doctors and nurses and whatnot. All these people do once you call them out is like just change their name, delete the video that was called out or just start a new account. You know, it works for them. Why not? And yeah, obviously this is fully a scam. They're using the, the fake authenticity that they're presenting in those uh, TikTok thrift haul videos to try and get you to buy into this story to believe it more. It's, uh, insane. Anyways, if you like and subscribe right now, you may get a chance to win this authentic Louis Vuitton shirt. It's an authentic shirt, uh, that I'm selling.